The movie opens up in South London, 1998, where a single mother, Macy Jean, takes her young daughter, Noni, to a hairdresser late at night. The hairdresser, Felicia, says they are closed for the night, as it is her birthday, and she has plans with her beloved. Macy pleads with Felicia to fix Noni's hair in time for the upcoming talent show and begs her to give them the service. Felicia first asks Noni what song she is performing that night, and Noni tells her it's Nina Simone's Blackbird. She then agrees and works on Noni's hair. At the talent show, several kids present their talents, but the most beautiful performance is Noni's. She sings Blackbird by Nina Simone and moves the judges and the audience to their feet. She earns the first runner-up trophy behind a girl who worked with hula hoops. Noni is still excited about her reward, but Macy isn't so much. She rudely calls her daughter off the stage and rushes her to their car. They go back to the car and Noni is crying. Macy makes her chuck the trophy to the ground, stating that she shouldn't settle for anything less than the top prize, meaning not to be a runner-up, but rather the first place winner always. The scene then fast forwards to much later in the years, when Noni is now a pop singer. As an adult, Noni is an over-sexualized pop star who has achieved success for performing a song with rapper Kid Culprit, AKA Machine Gun Kelly. Here we see their music video, which is a violation for a decent girl like her. But Noni is now labeled erotic, and she is playing the part. They also won the Billboard Music Award for Best Video, and Noni's debut album hasn't even been released. Her mother is still with her up to this day, now being very very proud of her. Now being her manager, she controls everything about Noni's career. Following the show, Noni signs some autographs for her fans, gets in her limo, and drinks champagne along with the people with her. Upon arriving at their hotel, Noni goes back to her hotel room, guarded by Officer Kaz Nicole. He took his friend's shift that night and is now on duty to protect the celebrity. Once Noni gets inside, she declares to Kaz she doesn't want any visitors for a while. Then, after a while, Macy comes to the room only to find her daughter sitting on the balcony, ready to throw herself off of the 10th floor. Kaz rushes to her rescue and tries to talk to her, but it only leads her to be urged to jump. He swiftly gives her a hand and she can hold on. He tells her that he sees her and that she doesn't have to do it. This makes her hesitate and help save her. Once off the danger, Macy rushes to take Noni inside, telling her she is okay. But it's clear Noni is in shock, only paying attention to what this angel saw in her. Officer Kaz's father is also a well-known and well-liked captain named David Nicole. He gets called to the incident and meets with Macy, investigating more about the accident. He discusses with Macy and decides it's best to give a press release about the night's incident. Noni is now getting her clothes prepared, despite how low she is feeling. Kaz's father approaches him to disclose how Noni is feeling. However, the father tells him to lie and say Noni slipped and fell due to her drunkenness at their celebratory award rather than the truth of her trying to end her life. Shortly, a press conference is held following the incident. Noni and Macy pass it off as a drunken accident, with Kaz made to look like a hero cop. The press continues to harangue Noni about whether or not it was a suicide attempt, but she refuses to comment. A paparazzo later approaches Kaz and offers him $20,000 to tell the whole story, but for now, Kaz just tells him he is trespassing and he has to go. The next day, he has also become famous, and the paparazzi await him at his job. Meanwhile, Noni and Macy meet with the record producer Liam King, who wants to push the release of Noni's album after the talk of her attempting to end her life, as that just won't sell with the target audience. Macy urges him to reconsider. What with an appearance at a music awards show coming up. Liam says that Noni must make herself look good or else the album may not happen. One night, Noni comes across Kaz and he has come to see her and asks her if she's okay. She says she is and she also apologizes for making him lie to the press. They both want to spend more time together. So Noni proposes they could grab a bite at her favorite place. They drive off while Macy keeps calling for Noni to come back to her. Once they escape the crowds, Noni takes him to an airport where they can enjoy their night peacefully. Kaz, however, tells her he has never been on an airplane and that he fears for his life. He also discloses his concerns about her and suggests she get professional help, but Noni tells him she is doing all right now. As they get to know one another, she finds the check from the paparazzo that has been given to him and accuses him of selling her, but Kaz denies having told the man anything. She doesn't believe him and suggests he take her home. They drive silently and Noni arrives at her fancy cabin. They talk and make some peace and Noni even approaches to kiss him. He leaves for the night, but it's clear things are just getting started. When he gets home, Kaz is met by his father. Now we realize that Kaz is currently focused on his future career in the department and a potential career in politics. His father is his mentor, but now knowing that Kaz was hanging out with Noni, he advises him to look after the people he is associated with. The next day, however, Noni knocks on his front door and asks him to be her guard. From there, he continues to hang out with her wherever she goes, either for rehearsal or visits to some sick people. He likes her and she is too. One day, while Noni is at her 
her photo shoot, the director asks her to give him naked shots, and Noni is uncomfortable. However, her sneaky mother urges her to do so, so that her cover could look good. Noni, without having any choice, takes off her top and poses for them while they all praise her for her body. Except for Kaz, who is standing in the corner and witnessing how everybody is pressuring the girl. Off the photo shoot, he comforts her, telling her how well she deals with all of that. She says on some days she breaks down, and on some days she manages. She then really shows him her favorite song, Nina Simone's Blackbird. He knows the song and asks her why she doesn't write more songs like it. She says she puts some verses on paper and shows him a box full of her lyrics. Kaz is proud of her, and the two share a lovely night. Then Kaz has a dinner to attend, so she must let him go. But before he does, he asks her about her status with the rapper. She says they haven't broken up due to the publicity stunt, but her heart is all with him. However, Kaz gets offended and leaves her, even though she wants him more than the rapper. At the dinner party, Kaz is with well-recognized political people. They try to challenge him by asking several intellectual questions and mocking his youth, but Kaz responds to all of them with respect and caution. We see that he is a mature person and knows what he is supposed to do in the field. Back at Noni's, she is partying erotically with her celeb friends, but just the next morning she regrets it. She decides to go back to her boyfriend Kid Culprit at his trailer and break it off with him. She ends the relationship and he doesn't stress her out. They agree to go back to being friends. Meanwhile, Kaz is called to respond to a domestic abuse claim. He and his partner arrest a man after he hit his wife in front of their kids. Kaz gives the woman his number in case there is any more trouble. Noni arrives on the scene and invites Kaz to join her. He obliges only to not embarrass her. Surprisingly, Noni changes his world by taking him on his first trip on a plane. It was a private plane and she had plans for both of them. Kaz is blindfolded and the two share a great deal of intimate sensual moments. Shortly after, Noni takes Kaz with her to the BET Music Awards. She declares him her lover and boyfriend in front of all the media. She then gets ready to perform at the awards, but in the meantime, Macy manages to sneak up on Kaz and tells him he isn't the right person for Noni. Despite her rudeness, Kaz makes his point, and it's clear he is not leaving Noni alone with her. Later, Noni performs on stage with Kid their new song. However, in the middle of the performance, he crudely cuts in on her spotlight and later shoves her head into his crotch. He then addresses the audience and says it was he who broke up with her, causing her suicide attempt. He then pulls off Noni's jacket, exposing her naked body. Just then, Kaz goes on stage to stop this and take her away. Kid calls her a bitch, and Kaz socks him in the face to the delight of the audience. This incident forces Noni to break down, as she is fed up with this lifestyle. After the humiliation, Kaz decides to take Noni away for a while to a beach house. There, she ditches her trademark purple and silver hair for a more modest and natural hairstyle. They become more romantically involved, and they make love every time they wish to. They go to a beach bar and grill with a karaoke stage. Kaz gets up to serenade Noni, only he's a pretty bad singer. Noni then gets up and sings Blackbird with tears streaming down her cheeks. With her astonishing performance, the audience loves her and applauds her non-stop. Someone recorded the performance to put up on YouTube. The next day, however, their time at the bar is cut short when Macy arrives with the paparazzi trailing behind her. Kaz leaves them alone to talk. Macy then tells Noni that the Blackbird video got over 40,000 hits on YouTube. She also mentions that Blackbird was the first song Noni sang when she was a child. Macy played it to drown out Noni's crying, but Noni sang along to the melody. That is when the mother noticed her daughter could be a miracle to revive their lives. After that, the two make up and decide to go back to their work. Once Macy leaves the house, Kaz comes to speak with his girlfriend. However, when he hears that she decided to go back, he walks off on her, disappointed by her foolishness to trust her mother again. Soon, Noni and Macy meet up again with Liam and the rest of the producers. The album is still set for release, but Noni wants them to add a song that she wrote on her own, one that truly represents her. Macy agrees with her daughter on this as well, or else they back out on the producers. Macy then takes out a termination notice that Liam claims was mistakenly sent to her fax machine. He apologizes and allows for the song's use. Later, back at home, the mother and daughter argue over Macy's control over Noni. Noni argues that it was Macy's opportunity to show everyone who looked down on her to prove she wasn't a failure by showing off her talented daughter, which makes Macy slap Noni. She is immediately remorseful, but her actions only result in her being fired by her daughter. Noni then goes straight to Kaz, where he is just about to leave for an important event with the politicians. He tells her he is sorry that they can't be together, and the two part amicably as they know where each other's lives are headed separately. Once he gets away, he gets an eerie call from the woman he once saved, and he returns to the home of the abused woman. She is standing outside her home in fear. Her husband has a gun, and he shoots at Kaz but misses. Kaz takes him down and beats him repeatedly. Elsewhere, Noni has a televised interview where she admits that she did try to kill herself 
on that ledge. However, she states that she was letting go of the Noni that everyone knew so that she could be the Noni that she wanted to be. The interviewer comments on how brave it was for her to admit this, and he wishes her good luck. Meanwhile, Kaz, with his father's encouragement, follows Noni to her performance at a concert in her hometown in the UK. He tells her he loves her, but she is pulled up to the stage by the assistant. The fans cheer her on, and she performs her rendition of Blackbird. Shortly after, she gets Kaz to join her on stage, and the two reveal their relationship officially. She tells him she loves him back, and that she will do so forever. And the movie concludes with their kiss, and the crowd going wild for them. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.